and welcome it's good to have you right there there is no regret about listening to the state broadcaster it's always on the top of information dissemination so yes of course we are upright and always ready to let you know that yes of course we are for the liberian people and all of those that reside in our borders you are so much important to us especially so on this new government of president joseph yomabuagai a man with impeccable characters oh jesus thank you for this great man of the land good afternoon liberia let's have a great time together my name is melvin stewart i will drive you up to six this evening on this platform so what's coming up on the program this afternoon this is the first uh the second time for this group of people to come on the national platform they've been having some discussions out there with some people on both social and into uh, the electronic media and yes of course the last time i hosted them was on the 4th of december i stand to be corrected i hosted them from the southeast they are from the sapo trap but guess what we are about to talk about today it's a wonderful conversation because we all are liberians our potentials matter a lot and our interests matters to the both private and the public sectors so yes of course let's have a wonderful discussion our discussion was centered around they are exclusion from the 1000 bank 1000 librarian dollar bank notes we talk about that on december 4 that was in 2023 when the then government was wearing away and ushering this kind of respectable government with integrity just a human work high so yes of course it's good that we are together and we will be together for good so let's take a breather when we come back we'll let you know what is on the plate this afternoon damawa fofana is on the social media those of you monitoring us from across liberia from across the world congratulations and keep listening and keep following let's have a great time together Ninety nine point nine is ELBC Radio. Like I said, uh, my guest, I from the southeast, and they are from the Sapo Trap. Of course, they've come here today so that we talk about some of the issues that are prevalent for the good of Liberia so i will kindly turn over to them i don't want to introduce them from here but they will talk about themselves and their mission their vision and yes we call it the all over accomplishment that they are yearning for let me welcome these distinguished liberians it's a mark on just bring the mic down a bit okay okay yes yes okay that's good yeah okay let me start with you sir just introduce yourself uh, good afternoon Mervyn. uh and uh good afternoon to our people across the country that are listening to us today and to the labyrinth people uh, my name is Bayon Philip Wakoko. And Bayon Philip Wakoko is the lead campaigner 
for the Sapo people campaigning so that their rights, you know, can be restored. Our rights were violated by the central bank. And I think we're on the platform before discussing the issue with you. And that's why we have come today to let the Labyrinth people know how far we have gone. Good to have you. Okay. Welcome thank again you. for the second time on the National Broadcaster. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Sia Cheng Wei Cheng, also from the same region. And uh, we are fighting for the same cause, exclusion, marginalization, omission, mistaken identity, and these are the things we are trying to talk about, especially um, to the Liberian public that uh, to erase all of these things that uh, Sapo people right will be respected as is done with the other tribes in the Republic of Liberia. The fact that the country is promoting peace and unity. And that's why I also commend the 99.9 FM ELBC. I came here before and recognized that the language harmony must continue and commend you for even promoting language harmony. We will come to the entire set, uh, the entire discussion. But why are you commending the management of LBS or the leadership of the talking to me, Yuji uh, Fagon? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, Yuji Fagon. What am I doing this? Eh? Oh, uh, since the seventy, since the seventy, mm. over fifty years now. This place we used to have our kinsmen come here to sing a song. Apoliego, Sapocle, where Apoliego. And they used to sing here, yeah. Marco Boe, Marco Sharp, or oh, Tom S. Kamle, the late, all of them, the late. And a lot of guys, uh, David Bobe, all the guys from the Southeast. And they used to come here and sing that song. It was one of the lead songs for Sapo people. At the time, you, at the time you were just growing up. At the time in the seventies, probably about like uh, ten years, twelve years. You're, you're picking, huh? At I'm the not time. picking. Yeah, picking yeah, ten yeah, years now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're of picking course. at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, but <laughs> you should listen. But sorry to say that. But at the time, I'm <laughs> yeah. not saying now. Okay, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. were picking. I was a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at that time, that is. Uh, I was a very little boy. Yeah. Did you play my ball? Oh, I play my a lot. I play my ball. In fact, uh, 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 what we call the catapults. We call it rubber gun. Okay. It is catapults. Okay. We used to go in the bush and. That's the scientific thing of it. Yeah. We used to go, in the, yeah, go in the bush and hunt for birds, go fishing, and do a lot of things on San Quentin River. You know, in Greenville, went there, play my ball, and play football. I play in Greenville, play for for theater, Loon Star, play for Easy Land in Pensar, play for every fire in Greenville. And did you play for the Loon Star? Uh, I, I, I did not reach that level. Why? Because, uh, you, 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 were, you were like a playboy around the place? <laughs> no, what? not that we do our selection. <laughs> and sometimes our senior goalkeeper sometimes can be selected. Okay, le, le, le my, my friend and brother, J.K. Ole, who you call him for law. He's still yeah, he worked at the but you still look handsome from the time you're talking about yeah, look at you. Yeah. What kind of uh, what kind of mechanism are you using to be like the way you are? Oh, what that what thing you use in your life, eh? Mm. To look fine, do not worry. Let all psychological pressure go out of your body. So you're not worried. No, I don't let you worry about things. But you well, got I, problem. Well, I, well, I, plenty, but I cannot solve them. So I don't worry about problems around me. So I just feel like I'm I'm all right. So that's the that's the medicine for the body. Good. We are here for a purpose. Yeah. I just wanted to 
dribble you a bit yeah. on your youth days and what you were doing and doing a free time ball and oh i know you yeah, played yeah, that well, but you still look handsome yeah, look at yeah, you yeah. dress up <laughs> like this again why are you not getting oh i don't know there's a secret behind it but it's good let me hear from sir chen no, this, this uh, sorry wakoko. not Shen, but wakoko yeah. what is it about this entire campaign uh melvin this campaign is, is about the omission of the marks of the Sapo people from the $1,000 banknote, a newly printed $1,000 banknote. When a bank printed the money, usually the legislature will mandate the bank to print money. And when they did that, <clears throat> When they brought the currency and introduced it into uh, to infuse it into the economy. Mm. In fact, prior to that, they were doing some civic education regarding the signs and symbols that were used on the money. Particularly the one thousand dollar bank note, the five hundred dollar bank note, and all of that. So on that bank note, they inscribed uh, sixteen marks, and according to them, the sixteen marks represent the sixteen tribes of Liberia. So then we came and we said, no, Central Bank, you are, you are incorrect. In fact, that figure should be 17. 17 what? 17 tribes. You think so? Oh, yes. Yes. From the record of ages, 16 tribes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Been circulating around our history, yeah. civics, and all that. Mm -hmm. I can recall 16 tribes. Mm -hmm. I, I went through there now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, Melvin, mm -hmm. the thing is, mm -hmm. yes, we used to teach 16 tribes in Liberia. If I would not start my primary education, I would learn about 16 tribes. Even though I've been in this country, the some of have been here long before the settlers came and brought their books and decided to exclude us. So we've been fighting that in fact from the 50s. We've been fighting that. You and who? I mean the Sapo people. You were not around in the 50s. I mean, when I say we've been fighting, I mean even my, my parents. Okay. The full fighters. Yeah, the generation before us. Mm -hmm. So we've been fighting that. So then we fast forward to 2008, even though there are other documents that include the Sapo people as well as the tribes of Liberia. Because, uh, <clears throat> let's get something straight here. Mm. Historic, historical records, yeah. you can obtain them from a lot of sources. Okay. Books, maps, journals, uh, historical experts, historical experts, uh, uh, articles of professional people, magazines, magazines, newspapers, and all these kind of things. So probably when we're collecting historical uh, records, somebody just think that we should, we should be looking at book. No, we got a lot of sources. So we've been there, but the you know quote unquote orthodox record that have to do with 16 tribes, not until 2008 when we were captured as a tribe. You know, when the census were conducted, uh, the census came to realize that there are 17 you know, tribal groups in, the, uh, in, in, in Liberia. So we told Central Bank that, no, Central Bank, you excluded us. Because when was that that you notified the Central Bank of Liberia? Oh, it was uh, the first letter that we did to them was November 18th. Do you have a copy of that letter that yeah. you can present to us? Yeah, yes, I do. Oh, you put it on the tele on, on the camera because the people want to see that letter. Yeah. So, yeah, you look for it. So, just go ahead. You okay. look for it. We'll put it on the yeah. camera later. Okay. So, we, we wrote to them that, oh, Central Bank, you left out the Sapo people. And before you even started printing this money, the record that Sapo is one of the tribes of Liberia have been there 14 years ago. So how come? How come you left us out? When we asked them, they decided not to even talk to us. Chalo and his, you know, our team of governors and staff there, they decided not to talk to us. We wrote them two communications. Was that deliberate? That's what I'm believing. You think? Yes, it's, it's, it's deliberate. It's deliberate. Because when we took action against them, 
we went to Council of Gongo and he was talking about the exclusion. So he wrote to them, they didn't reply, so we decided to go to court. And in their response to the petition that we filed, they said the government of Liberia does not consider Sabo to be an official tribe. Uh, who told you that? The Central Bank. To whom? Through their legal team. Through their legal team. Then uh, the Justice Ministry far. That was in what year we're talking about? In uh, 2022, okay. November, I think we started the court case, I think about August 2023, last year. Okay. The Central Bank for a motion to intervene, I mean, join the issue with... Yeah, uh, to uh, have a conference. Yeah. No, not even conference. No, not conference, but a joint issue with uh, the, the, the CBL, the CBL, to say, okay, CBL, we are with you. So their lawyers and the lawyers of the CBL, you know, we were against them. So the Justice Minister said, no, or several people, you cease to exist as a trap in Liberia. And the reason is, because some of you are settled in Sano County and others are settled in Green Gita County. Or in River G. No. River G? No, 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 no. River G. Okay, so Green Gita and, and Sino. And Sino. They are the two specific areas for the Sapo people. Exactly. So we're like, wow. But the Pele people are not in one county. The Basso people, the Basso people are not in one county. The crew people are not in one county. So how is it that only Sapo people should cease to exist because they are in Green Gide County and Sano County. So we we consider that to be uh we can equate that way ethnic cleansing mm. and genocide against the Sapo people. And we can accept that we have made significant contribution ah. to the growth and development of this country. I, I want I want to hear from you, sir, Wakoko. Yeah. Where does the Sapo people, or where, sorry, where do they reside? Where do they reside? In, in Liberia. In Liberia. Let's get it straight. Yes. So that, yes, if yeah. I'm a Sapo man yeah. and I'm residing in Bangabong County uh, or in Lofa County, Vonjabang precisely, somehow, or in Monrovia here, mm. if I'm going back home on a visit, where do I go as a Sapo man? Okay. Do you have a home? Oh, yes, we do. We where do. is that home? Uh, we are in Sino County and we are in Green Gita County. The land the Sapo people occupy in this country, the land mass from Putu in Green Gita County to Mopo. Talking about the Putu Mountain? Oh, yes. Yes. What justifies what you are saying? What justifies that? The mm. name Putu alone. Uh, the name Putu is, is Sapo Ni. Putu? Uh, yeah, that's, P-U-T-U? Yeah, that's Sapo Ni. You can define it? Uh, let, 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 before we come, before we come, Green Gita was created in 1964. Mm. So prior to the creation of Green Gita County, that place was considered Sano County. Where you get Green Gita now? The Bogota era was between Maryland and Sano County. So even Zuedru, where they are, they were all Sano County until the Eastern provinces were created before President Tottenham in 1964 decided to create those counties or turn the eastern provinces into counties. So when they were demarcating Green Gide County now, the new, the newly created county mm. from Sandor County, the land of demarcation cut up the Putu people and put them into Green Gide County. But that in no way erased their, 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 their identity. They are, they are still Sapo people. Okay. So that landmass from Putu to Nomopo in Sino, that no one else lives in besides Sapo people, is bigger than Maryland County. What what kind of trap? I will come to you, Chen. What kind of trap do you speak in a Sapo region? Oh, I, I speak Sapo. Sapo. I speak Sapo, and Sapo got six sessions. So how do you spell it, Sapo? Uh, some, uh, we used to spell it, in fact, when you look at the old map. We used? Yes. Look at the historical you know, so, like. revision. Oh, yes. Yeah. When you look at the maps, like, like that's a map of 1830. I think Chen will show that map to yeah, you. We'll show the map to On you. that map, you can see Sapo country. Is it S A P O or S A R P O? The both spelling are accepted. 
Even got a pool. Yeah, yeah. Some of them. Most of them are pronunciation does not change. Yeah, I know. The accent. And besides, in fact, on our map, you so you will see that S A H P O H. That's how local are spelling it. In fact, when you look at some of the uh, the the town like Zozo or the the Gola, those who have you know their own spelling during that during that time. San Jose used to be spelled S R N O U. And today we spell sign of S R N O E. So the Sapo people, the land they occupy, the land we occupy currently, like I said, is bigger than Bombay County, is bigger than Maryland County. So the Sapo people have a home. We have a place to go to. If I live from here now, I go to Pine Town, or I go to Kelo Town, or I go to Joazon, and, and, and Joazon, that Joazon. Is the second statutory district in the Republic of Liberia. It was created in 1975. So the Sabo people have a home. Was that during the top men uh, the top men's regime? No, Talba. Top okay. Yeah, top Talba. So okay, I will come to you <laughs> again. Okay. Yeah. Sir so, you talk about when the Sabo people they have a home. Yeah, exactly. We have a home. Belebo Creek. Hmm? It's a city. And uh the representative with his uh so rest in peace joseph slaro was at the legislature from Joasson district it's a representative mm. in the second day joseph slaro honorable joseph slaro but um <clears throat> i will show you something mm? Mm. for joseph Z. Guano, the late the late oh uh, he did well we talk about the time he have taken Sapo people. Half a century, we have been struggling with uh, identity issues. People place dent on our identity. And you will see here in this book, he says Sapo people have been laying claims, ethnic claims, eh? since 1950, in the introduction of this civil book. In the library service, civil for library, mm -hmm. uh, library service. This is one, two, on page 10 of this book, he mentioned during the coup days, this is 1980, and so, you said they want to mention Just show the camera. That, that when they, when uh, during the door region, they decided to form Southeastern Bloc. Okay. So the Southeastern Bloc, they decided to form the Rainbow Regime. They formed, they tried the name. The, the Sapo was there. They said the crew, Sapo, Crown, and the Gravel came together to form Southeastern Bloc to help the government to you know, move forward. But they failed at that time to join that Southeastern Bloc. But later on, they joined that Southeastern Bloc. So they knew why the crew, the Sapo, the, the crown and the gravel. They are not for drive. In the same book on page 31, you go there when the Labrador Peace Council was founded in the Ari Coast. Just as they want to mention in the same book that they were, the, 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 the Peace Council was founded by the war, the crown and the sapo ethnic groups. That English there is clear. Furthermore, you will come here, this map of 1830. Eh? When you look here, you see here the this is a map of 1830. I'm telling the public I see the Sapo con the Sapo country. Yeah, at the time that's what he was saying. They used to call those areas Sapo country, Gravel country, eh? Gola country, Kondi country, and the Gola was spelled C O L A H at the time. Even Mas Raro that you in today, it was spelled what? M E S U R A D O. And so Maserado. No, you in Maserado. So I'm, say, I'm saying, I'm saying, it was spelled. <laughs> it was spelled. So say the mozzarella you eat. The today. mozzarella we eat today. Mm -hmm. so, you don't say the mozzarella. so you eat okay. every country yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> the the mozzarella we eat today. Let me put it that for now. <laughs> the mozzarella we eat today was spelled why? M e s u r a d. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. So most of the spellings from colonial days have been changing over time, and I will tell you as as as, as we go forward. You see the map they are from the Library of Congress. That's how men created this map. 
they have a library of congress those are things like yeah go and download uh, them uh, 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 no, uh, and just bring them they, they are they are records eh? they are records and i will show you a, a, a map this map again is a map for west africa you can see this is the original map of Liberia and the colonial countries around Liberia. you were not around when Liberia was and, created and, why would and, you say so you can see this is the original map i'm dealing with records you think so yeah, I'm dealing with record. Don't you think that at was the, being just paraphrased? At, 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 at the time, at the time, Sapo Meng had no money to do this thing. Had no technology at the time. Okay. Let me be frank with you. Sapo Meng was not educated. You were eating your palm butter. Um, <laughs> even that, even my great grandparents were nowhere to write this thing. And you will look on the map, you will see this is Sapo here. Eh? Yeah? Okay. So I'm saying this so that we come to a point. Eh? Yeah? Mm. That people have their own reason why they want to marginalize certain group of people in the society sinister reason you think and that those reason mm. they being in, they are being uh, uh, carried by some people like i will mention in here i don't want that no okay let me be fair yeah, with yeah, you listen yeah. what happened is mm. uh let me be fair with yeah, you yeah, on me... this kind of national platform yes remember mm -hmm. i am the custodian of yeah. this platform thank you i he read the that's good. the checkpoint go ahead we are not here to denigrate anyone anyway no problem liberia is liberia yes what we up for is yes. make liberia better make your advocates should be progressive it should be positive exactly uh, then people will follow your positivism yes. right exactly so that yes of course so uh, no name nothing uh, no name uh, okay. that is it so uh, that's uh, it uh, this uh, is the map of west west africa yeah so i'm coming to, to come for him um <clears throat> So we want to tell the public. Yes, mm, sir. We have been going around. Mm. Sometimes we don't understand what we are saying. Mm. We are not fighting. Let me repeat. We are not looking for tribal status in the Republic of Liberia here. No. But our identity, we must hold our own identity. That's all. Okay. That's how we are telling the Identity public. issue. Identification. It's our so, problem. Yes. Let me hold you right yeah. there. Let me go back to Wakoko. Ah. Uh, uh, well, cool, cool. Yeah. Now, uh, you heard Chen, and this is all about the Sapo people. You were not recognized to be placed on the $1,000 bandups, <laughs> Liberian dollar bandups. What is the way forward? <clears throat> the way forward, uh, as we speak, the case is in court. The do, matter, the matter now is before the the honourable Supreme Court of the Republic of Liberia. Do you think that was the right uh, path to have uh, to have to have gone by going to court? Yes. You the, delay your process no, and no. all the thing. You know, court delays a lot. No, uh, Melvin. The issue we're raising has to do with human rights, and it is only the court or the court that can restore rights that can grant rights. That can take away rights. Hmm. Probably, other people will have said, "Oh, but gentlemen, you gotta go to the legislature." But that's a, in my mind, that's the wrong road to go. Because within the state, there are nations within the state. Those nations are ethnic groups. So, to create harmony in the state. The, those nations from government, tribal people from government. So to go to the legislature and say, come and recognize me as a tribe, come and do this, it's like, oh, the government can create human beings. And that's not true. We know that is not true. The government does not create tribes. Tribal people create government. So why can government turn around against them want to create tribes? So, <clears throat> The issue of this marginalization mm. has to do with rights, anyway. Who really marginalized you? Let us get the straight. The government of Liberia. <laughs> because I, you I, talk I, about I, the government I, of Liberia. Oh, we yeah. are in a new government. Yeah, yeah. Let's be specific. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We can talk about administrations. You say we should record name, but we can talk about yes, but, yeah, I come, I come in. but because this is just new and, and we just have a new government mm -hmm. in place less than or three, three months, less than three months now. Yeah. So we, we're talking about this and we talk about this in December 2024. I mean 2023. Yeah. And today we're talking about it in 2024, the first time. Yeah. So which government did what they do? 
<clears throat> okay, uh, for me, I'll be looking at administrations anyway, because the governor remains. So during the previous administration, uh, the on the governorship of, of uh, Governor Talo, who is still there, who is still the governor anyway, printed this money and omitted our marks from the money. So they marginalized us. We 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 took the, the bank central of, bank according yeah. to you. The central bank. Yeah. Are you speaking of the central bank? Precisely that the central bank marginalized the people of the Sapo trap. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Not the president at then. No, uh, the president was only one that printed the money. Okay. Why are we drawing the government in? Because when we talk central bank to court, the Ministry of Justice, mm -hmm. I told you, filed a motion to intervene. That means they joined the, the central bank legal team yeah. to go against us. And in their response... So you lost your appetite at them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so in the... In the no, you got to ask answer that question. Did you lose your appetite at then after you were during your court proceedings? Oh, uh, for me, what? really, whether I lost appetite or I don't, I didn't lose appetite. I mean, uh, probably that's the political side of it. But what we're talking now, you were still focused. I was still yeah, focused. focused. We're talking about right, or we are talking about rights. Our rights were violated. What is it about this whole sample? We got 16 traps. Let us let everything go. Let no. Bago be back. On. No, so, no, so no, then I come and then we ask you, why what is this taking from the society if we accept the trap? Because you don't see I the want, max. I want, say, I, want to, I want to tell you something. Eh? <laughs> yeah. We said like bro, oh, they discover oil. And everybody in legs that three months they all got no car. Quick, 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 they pass the way. So then they know what happened to so you are free. Which way you? You see him from time to time. Why is there rejection too? I want to ask you. No, I, I have no answer to that. <laughs> you can <answer. laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, Mr. Let me, let me, Wakoko, okay, yeah. Let me just say this. <laughs> yeah. Knowledge mm. can change. Knowledge is power. Knowledge can change. Mm. Oh, but that made a, a provisional. So Today, what I know to be true, we will conduct research and we find out that what we believe to be true is false, then it is false. Okay. If what I knew to be false, we will conduct another research and we find out that it is true, then it is true. What do I mean? When I started school in Liberia, we're learning about nine planets in the solar system. We're learning about nine planets in the solar system. By 2008, the uh, scientist, NASA, placed the spacecraft horizon to go around the orbit of Pluto. They took nine years to reach there. By 2015, from the photos that were sent, scientists realized that Pluto is not a planet. It was declassified. It was labeled a dwarf planet. So now we're going to now within the solar system we have eight planets so people are teaching geography now they are teaching eight planets they are teaching eight planets fast forward to what we're we talking about mm. you still have 16 traps in Liberia. we conducted census that is legal that was approved that was sanctioned by the constitution a resolution was passed and approved by the legislature we conducted the census, and censuses are conducted for developmental purposes and other purposes. Mm -hmm. So, anything arising from that census, I mean, it's legal, it's true. We're supposed to work with it. So the census came up and said, "Oh, we are 17 now in this in this country. The tribes are 17." They went on to list all the population of the tribes, and in that census of 2008, when you go there, you see that the Dane people are just over 11,000. You go to that same census report, the better people are just over 26,000. The suburb population there is 43,327. But, but the issue here is, sir, uh, uh, Mr. Wakoko, the issue here is every county mm -hmm. that has a population, mm -hmm. like if you're from Lofa, yeah. you know, the people believe that the Loma people are from Lofa. Yeah. The Kisi are from Lofa. Yeah. They are from this, yeah. 
But you don't have a specific county that you can sit and knock your chest and say, yes, we are the Sapo people oh. and we are from right here. Oh, oh, oh we are from Sino. If you want to say that, 98 percent of the sample people are from sino have you been able to push this argument before even coming to the national platform mm -hmm. or to the central bank of liberia in the regime of alosha stalu as governor of the uh, central bank be, uh, to your legislators in, uh, bon uh, in sino county before coming here or uh, as you will see from this letter just pull it to the camera yeah from this letter uh talu refused Every attempt, Governor Talo. Yeah, let's yeah, let's attach refused. a tattoo yeah. to him. Okay. He's very he's an honorable yeah. man. Mm -hmm. he's, yes, yes, yeah. okay. yes. He's an honorable man anyway. Yeah. Governor Talo refused to talk to the community. Like I said, we wrote him on two occasions, seeking, seeking audience with him. He refused. You think? So? Uh, how what? many times? Two times. Two times. And in fact. When, 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 uh, they did seek the indulgence. Value. They did seek the indulgence of your then senator Milton Tiachi. I can because Milton Tiachi, uh, uh, when he was in the Senate, he was a vocal senator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, let, let me just say this to you again. I, I'm saying this is a cultural, you know, matter. But well, sometimes no, you go to your legislators. I, I, no, I come in. I say, These I, are legal things that we of try course, to perform. Of course, yeah. we did that. We did that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I come in. I come in. Mm. Uh, this is a cultural matter. Okay. So when the issue came up, we told our representative then, uh, Honorable Madam mm -hmm. Zaza, that oh, uh, this is what the central bank has done. So he said, okay, uh, probably was an oversight for me, but I will raise this issue. The issue was raised. In plenary? Yeah. On I the floor in the legislature? I don't, I don't really know, but the issue was raised. By him? Yes. At the time, he was representative? Yes. And, uh, and Governor Talu refused to talk to the Sapo people. And I think there's a history around. I, I, I hope I hope uh, I can I hope I can have the contact of I hope I can have the contact of Cyrus Ulebadio, Mr. Cyrus Ulebadio. He's a communications man yeah. at the Central Bank of Liberia. Yeah. I hope I can have the contact of him quickly. Yeah. I, I used to have his number, but I don't have it now because uh, uh, I lost uh, his uh, number. Let, 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 me, let me just so, say, let so I hope I can talk to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you will talk to. Yeah, him, but let me just yeah. say something to you. You know this permission or this exclusion. Mm. Maybe there are other factors that we don't know. Mm. Or uh, I have a communication here from former President Samuel Kayendo. Who? Former President Samuel Kayendo. He did that communication? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Which That's, year? Uh, 1989, July 11. Is that a communication? Yes. Yes. Will uh, you I give have, us. I, I uh, have the original copy. Uh, come in, sir, sir uh, Mr. Wakoko. You, all of these communications you've brought, yeah. we want the copies of all of them today. Oh, yes. Yeah. Please. Yes. So, right yes. after this show, we will have to re. I mean, uh, photocopy them oh, and get them oh, because okay. these are credentials, these yes. are documents oh, that will stand us on the stem. Yeah, that yes, of course, these are people that opted for such uh thing in their own or society, exactly. right? Exactly. So, yes, exactly. so exactly. can you read that communication from the the, the no. then president Samuel Kayan? I want you to read it. You yourself read it. Let me just see this communication. Uh, uh and, and, and I so this is the signature of former president Samuel Kayan, though. Yeah. And 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 I will show this to the camera before I can even read, and because we and, need to be. And this is the original copy of the letter. Okay, yes, I will read from right here, and okay. I think this one will stay with the management team of EOPC because there's a photocopy. Yeah. Thank God you have the original. Yeah. So yes, of course, uh, the executive mansion office of the president, Monrovia, Liberia, SKD, fifth floor, right? They call it in Roman number IV. Yeah, okay. IV. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. IV. So, Madam Governor, we don't know the governor at the time. I, I know the governor. Yeah, She's yeah. Madam. Uh, 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 Let me say that was in July. Yes. Il, that was on the 11th of July, yes. 1989. Yes. From then President Samuel Kayando. Yeah. I have carefully reviewed. The long standing controversy between the SAPO and Crown, we call it, they misspell the Crown, but it's K R A I N here, yeah, yeah. but it should be K R A H N. Yeah. Yes. So now, I have carefully reviewed the long standing controversy between the SAPO and the Crown fashions, residing in a newly established community near the slaughterhouse yeah. or the freeway over the naming of said community. Accordingly, it is my decision that the name 
Sapo community be maintained for the area. Yes. So that was President Samuel Kayando at the time. Yes. Hence, this battle is considered closed. Yeah. yeah. So let me executive me, order. Yeah. But so this is not this is not in the constitution. No, I come. I come. Let this me is not in, it, because executive, right. executive order executive order should be enshrined yeah. yes. within the constitution of the Republic of Liberia. Okay. But this is not enshrined. Okay. How do we prefer such? So, uh, I'll come I'll come something one will point out in this in the document. Yes, sir. You know why we got the document? Okay. A certain president, mm. we are discussing tribal issue. A certain president at the time, President Samuel Kanyondo, mm. from the Grand Ethnic Group, this man recognized that two distinct tribes were competing for that community. He called them the Grand and the Sapo Ethnic. A president at the time who was in said, So we are saying. Mm -hmm. People are being going around sometimes you hear from people, but they tell they were in power and some people say they were they were crown people. But this is the man who knew Sappho man to be a a a, 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 a Sappho to be a tribe by herself. And who knew crown to be tried by herself. As I show you right here, why Joseph say in the two in, in, in these books eh? that he mentioned. So we we are really pretty at his statement. We are holding a statement. That a president who himself was a crown a, 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 a person will distinguish crown and sample. That's why the letter is about. And now, we really claiming something. Oh, no, but, but let me make a that point. I want to tell you there. Let me make a yeah? point. Okay. Yeah. So it is not about sample people say they were crown people, but we knew each other. We knew that we, we had were sent to be our violence. The letter more was sent after the coup. He was he was the, he was the second in command. In the PROC government, Mayor General Thomas was saying, so he was a sapo. He from the sapo. Yeah, he from Pine Town. He from Kaba the region. Another session of the sapo people. But the but but, but the two uh, people uh, have uh, the. Okay. Uh, let, let, let me yeah. make a point. Yes, Wakoko, sir. Yes, that letter mm -hmm. from the president, the from, former from, president. From, yeah, from uh, Samuel Kayando. From President Doe, was written in response to the issue of exclusion. That's why I brought about it. Okay. The newly or uh, the, the, the community we call do community around the Freeport area there. You know, when that community was established, it was called Sapo Community. So elements within the community, either from the crown or the gravel or somewhere between there, they decided to fight our people to change the new of that community or do community. Then our people complain that old oh, president do the community that you created, and you say. A sapo community, these who are taking the community from all the city community is no community. That's exclusion. That's marginalization. Mm -hmm. In response to that concern, that was the time he, the, the president, president wrote this. The president wrote that yes. letter. And he addressed this letter to, I don't know who was, Madam Annie, City. She was the she governor. She was the sapo governor. Sapo governor. governor. Yeah, sapo governor. Okay. So he addressed the letter to her, telling her that I have closed this matter. The arrow.
play major trial minor trial what constitutes minor and major what can major trial do a minor trial can do what can minor trial do a major trial cannot do and you see that <clears throat> just recently eh? mm. sapo people up, took upon themselves in the diaspora they are helping government when government construct school here the sapo people go there and construct teacher law when government control a, a, a hospital here with sapo ah. people go there and control <laughs> Nursing quarters. This is not just about the sap. So it is all about librarians. Yeah, I know. People that, that's that's also so they, they come so back saying, to contribute. Yeah, I'm saying that they are support people. All of people are there, but they are not doing the thing. So this get recently. I'm coming. Let me get information. Right here to Magibi. A support event hall will be built there in Magibi. The groundbreaking was just done. Eh? Right here in Magibi. So you're spearheading that as a team? So I'm hmm? saying are you people spearheading that? No, we are not. No, no, no. We, are, we are not part of that. Ma, 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 ma. We are our children. I'm, so we I, have to talk about. I will the still open the lines. I will okay. still open the lines so that we into our so people. But that what happened here is, is it something that we 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 can just um uh, uh some uh, in just one little package and <clears throat> and say, you people are looking for national recognition from state authorities. Uh, no. That's. These uh, are concerns that will come from the public. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, coming yeah. from the public. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 you are right. Yeah, you are, you are right. right. But, 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 but I would say no. Okay. Because you don't want any governmental job. Oh no! no you don't want it. No, no you don't no, want to no, be superintendent. No, no, I'm, no you, I'm, I'm you, I'm Mr. Wapo, yeah, don't you want to be a superintendent now I'm in this regime? No, no, no. The government of the rescue mission. That's not what I'm up to. We are celebrity. If they give us job, we take it. That's not what I'm. We are the right. The upper. We have the qualification. The advocacy <laughs> is not opting, it's not opting for employment. You ask about recognition. Yeah. Do we want recognition? No, we are already recognized. Go to the you recognize, but you're not only your max now only yeah. one thousand allowance. So. Yeah, yeah, that's why we marginalization now. According to you, but do I you, you capture all the things? So you you got a magnetic eye that you just go and see the one thousand dollar that you can see yourself. No, no, not that we, uh, we have my just see if LBS here. You see everything there, yeah. Are you there? No, that uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Mary, you know what we concern about that money, okay? Uh, that money, that national artifact. So, you're not using the money because you're not there. So, when if you get that money, you discard that. I mean, you, no, you, for, you send that money out for me personally. Yeah. I, for me personally, I don't use it. Any you don't use that money, no. No. Time I why? I, I will oh, get it. Uh, because so you will be broke throughout until you die no, because you don't because you, you no. not your picture now on the money no, the fire that, no, the fire that, 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 is there you can't you can't, you can't, nobody will give you the five hundred dollar <laughs> and i have the one thousand dollar i want to give you a billion dollar now uh, and just uh, uh Mervin, will you refuse it Mervin, let's come to the court here. let's hold this money uh, it's our currency Mervin, let's come to please the court. agree with the librarian currency uh Mervin. <laughs> no we have not been against the currency no. but please accept it it's just a particular bank note yeah but you gotta accept it then we try to work around the clock let's come to the core issue go ahead you talk about recognition and i said no because <laughs> go to the fifth grade service book the fifth grade service book on page 11 in fact the title of that book is citizenship education family and social protection grade five go to page 11. there they need the traps of liberia and when you need them they are 17. so don't get stuck with 16 tribes when your kid in fifth grade is learning about 17 tribes i think that would be a shame for you as a as a parent the kid come from school telling you about 72 i say no well as high school jay rawatan we're 16. Can you imagine now? <laughs> La 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 Bureau used to have three counties. So say La Bureau have three counties. Like only three counties I know. Yes. Okay. And, and so, I know, and I know you don't want to do that. <laughs> so let me let, yeah. let me open the lines okay. now so we interact with the public a bit. Uh my guests are here. They are from the Sapo community and they have come uh to talk about some of the concerns that I burn in their chest. Yes, of course. Um, you have the opportunity now to interact with us on 080-514-096-0775978530. Let's stop the talk right here. 080-514-096-0775978530. Let's stop the talk and let's have this conversation on on this present uh, a Tuesday afternoon. 
hope that you're doing just okay from wherever you are. Once again, 0880514096077597853. Let me talk to this person. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, I will. Good afternoon. Hello? Go ahead. Go ahead for Sino. Go ahead quickly. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Zero eight eight zero five one four zero nine six. Let me talk to this person. Good afternoon. How you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. From where? Where are you calling from? Hello. Patrick, where where are you calling from? Okay, go ahead. All right. I first of all want to applaud my people in studio there for the sufficient education that I give people who does not know the Sabo trap. In a way, from that, people always say Sabo are crying. But that is to know that all of the president, do leadership, Tom Wesson was a Sabo man, he was vice president. And no constituent can tell that a trap can produce a president in a vice president. So, not following the history of Labrador and concerning a Sabo trap to be a crime. I'm going to applaud my people in studio to give sufficient information to those who don't know the history of the Sabo trap. Thank you very much. Once again, Patrick W. Wedger. Thank you. I will take I will take three more calls. Then we will, because this is, uh, we will take three more calls and, and let our guests to go. They've raised their concern already. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Yeah. Good evening. Go ahead quickly. Yeah, this is Professor Joseph K. Dion. I call from... Uh, Zweru, Grand Jire County. Go ahead quickly. I'm a man, and uh, the issue being discussed concerning crime and support, you know, people. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to tell my brothers in studio is that the Sapo people were not exempted, you know, from that, uh, or the number of tribes, the 16 tribes on the, on the money. The reason is that the Sapo people are a segment of the Crown people or a subset of the Crown people. They are part of the Crown people. But it happens that geography, during the demarcation of the counties and so forth, some of them. in Grand Jire County. The same way in, in Liberia here now, you have crown people in Arico, crown people in Liberia. So they are not exempted. They could talk over the, the head of state, or the president and the vice president cannot come from one county. So, uh, 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 that portion, you know, uh, uh, demarcated, and then, you know, so Thomas Wilson came from, from, from Sano County, and Samuel Doe came from Grand Jire County. So, uh, -huh. the last thing I want to say that it is not the bank governor that will recognize, you know, the tribes in Liberia. Ben Governor himself, he then reading in his book with Ben Lenny about 16 tribes in Liberia. So the Sapo people are part of the ground people that went to Sano and you know that settled in Sano. Thank you. Thank
Thank you. I'll take uh, two more calls and let my guests to respond quickly. We'll leave them. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You already asked the question why, so they will answer. So yes. Uh, okay. I can we just me, respond me, quickly me, because me, I, I have I have my me, next me, let me, let me next guest uh, from Grand Gila County who just talk, and uh, I don't want uh, him to be going with that or a real story and uh, statement all around. I want to post a question there. I go again and continue to answer. He says Sapo is a segment of the crime. Let me send to you in the studio when we leave. When crime people call a session or meeting, have they called some people there before? You have one people of attendance, that one, two. I'm going for it. Eh? I had a recording here for a crime man, oral history. One of the facts, one of the facts, eh? one of the sources of history collection. The man, he said that the crime people, when they were coming, they were about 16 tribes. And the crime people divided themselves. And they mess up for people at a play called power. And they say the recording here, I, I can follow it to you and you listen to it. Oral history. We'll get that. So you'll get it later. Yeah. So the crowd people met up for in a play called power. So for you to say we are a subset. Only Sapo in this country is a subset of a tribe. Tell me another tribe in the country that is a subset of another tribe. So they are certified as Sapo is a subset of a tribe. Then you cannot come into your work, your, your session of meeting. Does he have does he have any record on SAPO that they have attended SAP crown session of meeting? Let me provide that document to you. What we are discussing here is about document. Is that about perception? That's the perception the lawyers carry to court at the time. Why must you go to court? Say we've been speaking of the case. The team of lawyers from the central bank they have never produced one evidence to why he erased uh, our, our argument. No, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so, so, so we have just less yeah. than two okay. minutes now, okay. please. Let's uh, conclude because uh, we have uh, another program yeah. right here. Okay, Melvin. Yeah. Uh, I think the the professor that called from Grangida County, if he's a professor, he should be embarrassed of himself. He should be very embarrassed to make statements, to make statements that are historically that are not factual. Firstly, we don't have time. No, sir. I, come in, I, come in. I, just, I, I just told you about the census report. Is he going to go to legit the government library and say no, remove Sapo from here, even though they are listed? We are going to another person's time. Okay, okay. so, so uh, I don't want to. I don't want to tell him, Evan, mm. that our case against the central bank is not a personal case. This case is about exclusion. The, prof the, 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 the professor's son or daughter can be learning seventeen tribes. And he is stuck with you know history okay. that is anti antiquated. Antiquated let him, history. Let him read and let, let him go to research. Let him go to the fifth grade service book. It's called Citizenship Education uh, Family and Social Protection. Go to the second grade, grade social service. Grade five, page eleven. We educate that professor and uh, the force who that is is thank you. There in Green so there. thank you very we'll stop much. Right there. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was good having you people this afternoon on the Bumper Show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they, are my, they have been my guests from uh, the Sapo Trap, of course, uh, talking about several issues, the few I are burning their chest. So, yes, of course, we had to have them here on the national platform. But our severity matters a lot, so they've been so severe in all of what we've been talking here. No personal attack. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Melvin Stewart. <laughs>